Boy Frederick coming at you with another video. We are at the Crystal Shops on the Las Vegas Strip. We're doing a two month revisit to see if the people have come back and how the stores are doing. If you're new to the channel, again, my name's Bro Frederick, Las Vegas based professional photographer, videographer, and part time philosopher. So I welcome you along for this shop tour with Broar. So let's have a look around. If you've seen my channel before, <laughs> you know I love watches. So no shop tour with Broar would be complete without some high-end luxury watches. And this place, my friends, is absolutely full of them. So let's start on this side. This is a very high-end mall. If you're looking to buy socks, this isn't the place to do it. But if you're looking to buy or rent some Harry Winston jewelry, this is definitely the place to do it. There might be spots throughout this video where I might have to mute the sound due to the copyrighted music in here. You'll know when that happens. Cartier. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Bear in mind that this mall never has tremendous traffic. A high-end mall like this generally never does. This isn't for the masses. This is for, it's kind of exclusive. But at the same time, the window shopping is par none in Las Vegas. That's a beautiful shop. One of my favorite stores. I've been giving them a lot of props lately for their excellent men's cologne, Van Cleef and Arpel. Fellas, do yourselves a favor. Another fine shop here. These are kind of a nice feature too. I like that they drop the LED lights in here. When it gets dark early, it looks pretty amazing. Stella McCartney. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we know what we got here. Ladies. Not seeing the typical red soles. Oh, there's a few back there. All right. So I would have to say already, only 100 feet into this walk, that the shops are definitely doing better. I see people with bags. I see people with smiles, there's Gucci doing some business, Tiffany, let's take a look down there. The mall is absolutely immaculate too. Fellas, ladies, Tag Horp, one of my favorites, Fendi, oh if you want to see high-end watches. I hate turning every shopping tour into a uh, into a high-end. <laughs> Everyone loves these watches. You just can't help it. All right. You said how much? That one right there. Ah, there you go. So if any of my viewers want to buy me a Christmas gift, you know where to come. Right here. $145,000 watch in the window. That's sweet. Louis Vuitton. You see everyone's in a good mood here. It is, I'll drop the time in there, but it is Friday. August 21st, approximately 5.30 p.m. 
And it is currently 113 degrees local Las Vegas time. So it is no joke out there. People, stay hydrated. Let's go look down here, see what we can see. Balenciaga, beautiful handbags, ladies. Saint Laurent. Oh, <laughs> I told you, I warned you in advance. Don't say I didn't tell you so, but here we go. More high-end watches. Look at that. Just works of art. So I see bags, I see shopping, I see smiles, I see good moods. Beautiful Friday. How you doing? Hi. Wanna say hello to YouTube? Say, like I said, everyone's in a great mood today. We got bags. Excuse me. We're going to work our way around to the coffee shop. Look at this view right here. That is a cafe that you eat in. Obviously not up there, but I would love to climb that one day. <laughs> Shout out to management. You know, let me climb that. I'll video it. But that's beautiful. Versace getting ready to open. They're going to bang out all their stores soon. The one at uh, Forums is good. They have the smaller one open, but they're getting ready to pop with a large one. About the size of that spot right there. That's some nice clothes, too. I like when people smile for the camera. Some people are shy. I'm absolutely not. So yesterday's video was, let's see, the temperature check procedure at the win. And that's an interesting video. It's a short one, it's not even a minute because it's so damn quick. And that's what I wanted to bring to everyone, how quick and seamless the experience is. And today's video was the Rio. Last night, I went to the Rio at around 10 o'clock because it finally cooled off to a 106 degree. We're going down now. We just went in a circle. Shout out watches. So it was about 106 degrees last night at 10 o'clock. And I was able to walk around the Rio property. The Rio property still being closed. Had a lot of fun. It was an adventure. Kind of sketchy, <laughs> you know, to say the least. But go watch that video. I'll stick a card, let's see, right about there, right now, if you want to go see that adventure. And trust me, it was an adventure. And rumors abound. Yeah, Vegas, baby. <laughs> Oh, come on, you got a Vegas baby. All right, we're going down the stairs. So, that was an adventure, and rumors abound about the Rio. So, I wanted to go look. That's the second time I've been there, but I got confirmation on what is actually happening at the Rio. So, if you want to see that video, subscribe, hit that bell, check it out tomorrow. I did it today, it'll be up tomorrow. And that is the, basically the Vegas gospel of what's going on over at the Rio. Never mind all the rumors that you've heard. I got the facts. Dolce Cabana. Here's the Versace store I was telling you about. Let's go have a look at this car here. So if you're in town, you're looking for something to do, this is something to do right here. Check that out. Dreamracing.com You too can do 170 around our racetrack. I call it ours because I live here.
That's beautiful signage too. There's the base of that architectural beauty upstairs. See that? Amazing. Wolfgang Puck is up there. People still go to Wolfgang? Is he still like a deal or not? I don't know. I haven't heard not hiding a hair from him. I haven't been to one of his restaurants in forever. Okay, we gotta go through this. Come on, I'm like a kid. Boah! <laughs> Let me get you the low angle here. I don't know what these are, but they're just pretty cool. Wouldn't put one in my house, but <laughs> it's still pretty cool. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I do know how to pronounce Rolex. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we are with the watches again. We got to go check that out. Oh, there's like a masked up dude over there. Now, those are some amazing watches. Not as sporty as some, but more pricey than most. Dior. This is the, the underside of the cafe. Pretty cool, right? I was taller than I thought. <laughs> I might have to retract that uh, offer to climb that live. No, nah, I'd do it. Screw it. Anything for a thrill. And to make you guys happy. Celine. Whatever, Celine. This is just a classy place. Another high-end watch company, retailer. Funny how they all congregated here, right? Tom Ford. Let's see if we can go down. I don't know why this side is still closed off. I'm gonna have to invest, investigate that further. Yeah, let's go up. Uh, we were here already. Want to know how to get to that other side? I don't see why they would be closed. I actually have a concierge in the crystal shops. And hardwood floors. There's Prada. This is kind of beautiful too. It's like an infinity pool. Let me see how low I can get. It's an infinity pool inside the mall. That's kind of neat. It's got a different vibe at night. It's kind of like a spring wedding motif going on. I don't know what that's all about. How you doing? Mind if I pan in front? Thank you. Pays to be polite. Gotta respect people. These are the watches I was talking about, fellas. Rolex spot. I got a few Rolexes. I've bought a couple Rolexes used, old ones non-functional ones. $300 tune-up, they're worth thousands. Don't neglect your old Rolexes. You'll be absolutely amazed how they retain their value. Granted, compared to some of them that we've seen today, they're, <laughs> you know, they're like the, the sketchers of the high-end world, but you know they are reliable and they do absolutely hold their retail value. This is beautiful, isn't it? So I want to come back this way. Underlit staircase. And we're going to walk up this side. We came down the other side already. Let's see, maybe we can access from this side what we're missing. This is beautiful, isn't it? I love wood. 
Nope, we cannot get over there, so I'm going to assume that they're actually closed. So let's have one last look around. I would like to show you the front door. I'm going to attempt to show you the front, but they got some music cranking out there. And at this point, I don't want to replace it because I think we're doing good so far. So if you have any ideas for places that you'd like me to go, places you'd like me to visit, drop it in the comments below. I want to thank you for coming along, for liking, subscribing, sharing, and being part of the 9%. I'm going to drop the 9 percenter phrase of the day right here. Drop that in the comments. I'll know you stick around to the end of all my videos. We're going to do special videos, shout outs, all that cool stuff, especially for the 9 percenters. And on that note, Laura Frederick out.